um, notice that we have a whole new set of icons here in the Maps Manager, a whole bunch of buttons. So from here, we can insert topic references. We can insert topic headings. We can create topic groups, modify the properties. So um, this is important if we want to add, do something like add a nav title. So let's just click that and bring it up briefly. So here we have the properties, and we can choose our, we can specify a nav title if we want to. We can also change the topic type, the scope, all sorts of things. Now, one of the really cool things about Oxygen now is, with 11.1, .1, is the fact that this data map um, allows us now to do searches across all of the all of the topics that are in this map, we can also do spell checking across all the elements, all all of the topics that are in the map. So, first to do searches, what we do is we go to the Find menu, and instead of choosing Find Replace, we choose Find Replace in Files. And notice here, here's our text to find. Don't know where that came from. Oh, it's it's the selected text, of course. Uh, we can specify a number of things about our search, but the most important thing here is we select the current data map hierarchy. So if I were to choose here, we would just be searching in all open files. A nice thing has been in Oxygen for quite a while is we could actually search in a, um, in a directory. Um, but now we can actually search within this map. So if I want to search something, I can type snow, say and say find all and yes I do want to and so now this actually shows me a list of all of the occurrences of the word snow in this map so here we we can we can dismiss this and then double click this and now that document's actually opened for us here we can put that away now, an important thing while I've got this up for you to know, um, see the, um, there's a close corner, but don't be fooled by this X here um, in order to put away this, um, this display from the Find in Files. We can click the close button down at the bottom and that'll go away. It is possible to change the interface and move those so that all the closed corners are up in the, in the top. But uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. So spell checking across um, a data map is very similar. So we come here to edit check spelling. And, oops, oh, sorry, check spelling in files, of course. And so now, as you can see, we could do spell checking across a number of uh, folders, but we've got current data map hierarchy selected, so now we're actually going to be doing our searches across. We're going to do spell checking within the topics that are in this data map. But I'm just going to put that away. Um, both find and spell checking are powerful features. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at those right now. Um, with find, you can find elements, you can restrict it to elements, attributes, all those types of, all those good types of find things. Now, another important thing about using the Maps Manager is we use the Maps Manager to run the Open Toolkit, and so we can produce output from our document. We do this by configuring a transformation scenario. So we start out here, we click on this little wrench icon, and this brings up a series of transformation scenarios. We just want data map transformed to XHTML. So all we have to do right off the bat is just select this and click Transform Now. And you notice, uh, if you're familiar with seeing the Data OT roll past, you'll see down in the bottom window, you'll see um, all the familiar stuff go past. And we'll be done in a minute. And you notice it's configured so you can either run the did open toolkit or you can run, uh, sorry, you can run the did open toolkit and generate XHTML or you can generate FO um, or PDF via FO. So here we are and here's our um, familiar set of uh, topics that we've uh, created via the open toolkit. Uh, 
Um, let's see. I'm just looking at my uh, look at my slides here. I seem to be missing something or missing a reminder. Um, oh, I know what. Yeah. That's interesting. I don't seem to have a slide on it, but um, one of the important things about uh, using the editor for editing um, our maps is that there are some things you can't do from the Maps Manager. One of them is you can't create a, um, a, rel a relationship table. So if we wanted to add a relationship table to our map, we could come here now in this view, and we can, of course, use this uh, use the editor view and we could insert a relationship table. Now, uh, unfortunately, this is one thing that, um, well, it would be good to have a little bit more here, but there's a, something really cool in Oxygen that will help us out. So we could build our relationship table by hand, but that's going to be a little hard. Instead, what we can do is we can actually configure up code maps or um, code samples. So, um, or a code template, sorry. <laughs> we can create code templates and then use those code templates to insert blocks of text. If we have a common thing that we have, that we use commonly in our documents, we can create these samples and then we can um, insert them. Now, the one thing is we can't insert these code, sam these, uh, code templates from the author mode, so we have to go to the text mode. And so here we are in our text mode and I hit the control space bar and we see two templates that I've created. And so I've created a template for our properties, um, for a prop properties table. I've also created a template for a relationship table. And this um, gives us a little preview and shows us what we're going to get. So now I click, um, click on relationship table, or hit enter, there we go. And our relationship table now is entered into our documents. So now we can use author mode again. And now we can go and do all the standard things that we like to do. We can drag and drop our topics into the, the relationship table, and we can populate the table that way. Now, um, configuring those, um, um, configuring the code template, um, now, like I say, I've lost my slide, so I've lost my brain, essentially. Um, if I can remember quickly where to go, because I'd like to be able to show you how to do this. How are we doing time-wise? Ah, well, there we go. So here we are again in editor, uh, templates, code templates. So we choose this. And so here we have a list of the currently defined code templates. And if I create a new code template, um, we can give it a name, we can give it a description, and we can associate it with particular editors. So if I have a code template that's specific to when I'm modifying XSL, I can add it here. Or in our case, I created one that was associated with the XML editor. And then in this content box, you add the actual content, and one of the nice things is, once you're done creating your content, you can say, once you insert it, um, use this to position the cursor within the um, code template that, that you insert. So, and by the way, just looking here, document templates, I t 